How's it going guys? Untinked Gaming here. Glad to see you guys stopped by to check out the content and the new video. Today I'm talking a little bit more hockey jerseys and I am just stepping away from the gaming scene. Uh, I have been playing Smite for a little bit along with some buddies so I have some gameplay of Smite that I will be releasing in the future. Um, Smite is, a, this is just a really good game. If you guys have not played Smite yet, what are you doing? Go ahead and play some Smite. It is a really fun game with your friends. Teamwork, uh, it's really challenging and it's really competitive at some times, but it's all good fun. So if you guys have not tried out Smite, then please go ahead and try it out. Good fun. And uh, I'm actually into some mythology, so it actually is a plus for me. So it deals with it deals with gods and different types of mythologies from Greek, Roman, Norse, you name it. It's there. Playing as your favorite god if you're going to be playing a certain role. But anyways... We're going to talk about hockey jerseys. I have not made a hockey jersey video in a long minute. It's been some time. But we are talking about... Uh, we're going to put our minds in the, the person who is going to go out and buy a jersey. Now, I know there are some people out there who just don't have the money to go out and buy Adidas jerseys left and right throughout. And probably they don't want to have the fanatics. And I'm actually starting to become one of those people. I oh I seem to I didn't really mind Fanatics jerseys ever since you know I've started getting them, but then once I started getting some other jerseys from eBay, I've actually been like, yeah, I'm not gonna get that again because I don't know. I've the last Fanatics branded jersey I've gotten was a Vancouver Canucks white jersey. It was on sale, so I couldn't really put it down. I was actually looking to get a Vancouver Canucks jersey, but good thing they were on sale. Uh, the reason they were on sale is because it was the old design. So it was a really good deal. That was probably one of the only times I will go and get a Fanatics jersey if it's on sale at the right price. So, um, so we're going to be looking at some of the other options when it comes down to getting jerseys. Some of you guys don't want to get them on NHLshop.com or Fanatics or Lids or whatever your preferred uh, marketplace is for these jerseys we're gonna be looking at eBay it seems to be one of the one of the alternate places to go to when finding a jersey for a lot cheaper price we're gonna be looking at some eBay stuff here so what I'll be going over is some of the things that you guys should look out for when you're going on eBay looking for jerseys I have some four key points here that is price to the the price of the jersey where it's coming from. Uh, I, I don't want to pinpoint a country, but it's somewhere in Asia. Uh, if you guys don't want... like that, but the, the country that's over there makes fake jerseys or fake things all the time in order for the dealer to make, an in, like, make a living, I suppose. Um, that's just one place to find out where it's coming from. Uh, the actual pictures of the item itself and nothing that you see in like... From here, because obviously you could just take this, uh, have it show up, and just copy and paste that thing and put it onto your thing that you're selling on eBay. It's super easy to do, and it's just one thing you should look out for. And obviously look out for fakes, because eBay is just, uh, I don't want to use the word uh, contaminated or whatever, because those are some pretty harsh words around this time. But uh, it is uh, they're all over the place on the website on eBay, so... We're going to be looking at some of those. And obviously the first ones I'll be going over are the overpriced jerseys. Now, if you guys want to talk about the NHL jerseys are overpriced, just look at the ones on eBay. They don't make me laugh. Looking at this made me laugh. This Minnesota Wild Coho Premier jersey that was their away jersey when they came into the league in 2000. Uh, I, I've i owned a jersey like this, but it was the white one. And I've had it... I think I've I think I've lost it. I lost it in like 2004, 2003, somewhere around there. Um, so 275 dollars. I'm pretty sure it's plus tax. So uh, give or take, you're still getting you're still giving this guy 280 bucks for this jersey. Now, um, rarity does play a role in in looking at these jerseys, but. Uh, one thing I would actually say, like, I would not pay money for this jersey is because look at the condition of this jersey. It's 
I'm not sure if it's naturally this wrinkly for this jersey. It looks like it's been washed, collapsing in itself, kind of look. Especially the logo, it's super dented on the on the nose or the front of the logo here, uh, around here too. I'm I'm looking at this like if I'm I'm wanting to buy it. So two hundred seventy five dollars. I would not pay money for this. This is overpriced. Clear as day, black and white. Um, there's nothing too much. It's it's all wrinkly. I would not wear this. This is not $275. I apologize to the person who probably is watching this and looking at this product. It is wrinkly in the back. The logo looks like it's been shrinking because it probably just was like washed. Um, and the, one of the worst things is, is that if you buy this thing, it was like, oh no, I, I probably made a mistake. I want to bring it back. Yeah, you cannot bring it back because the seller is not accepting returns. You buy it, you're keeping it. <laughs> Uh, sign the dotted line. You're it's done. So, <laughs> uh, I probably have to block out the the seller's uh, information here. Ninety nine point eight percent positive feedback. What? From what? Now this one is one of those other ones that I was like, okay, this has to be overpriced. Um, but it he is this person is saying rare. It is rare indeed. He is correct. This is rare. This is the Phoenix Coyotes uh, authentic green peot alternate jersey. Now I've I've seen some of the hockey guys videos and he goes over each and every ugly jersey that every team had in the NHL. And this one was the one that he showed up that he brought in for the Arizona Coyotes or then called the Phoenix Coyotes. Um it has a cactus on it. <laughs> Uh, that's enough of that. So um, it's it's rare indeed. Now I'm not sure if it's that rare. This is like the only time that I see it, and I don't think I've seen it anywhere else. And that actually plays a good role into this, but I don't think it's worth five hundred or well three hundred fifty dollars. Excuse my numbering, but I would not I would not spend this money on this jersey just because it's rare. I would not. I don't love this jersey enough to spend money on it. <laughs> Cute little lizards on it. Um, but it's kind of give you an idea of what to look out for when it comes to making these jerseys. Now, the one thing to look out is the fakes. We, those were the overpriced ones. So I'm not really sure if those were authentic or real. But those were overpriced. So nonetheless, watch out for those. Now we're getting to some hot water, I would like to say. Uh, with these jerseys. These are obviously the fake ones. Now, what is a fake jersey? Some of you are might probably asking. Is that a fake jersey to me is uh, it's when a third party company or what or the factory or whatever that is not licensed by the National Hockey League to make products for their teams. Companies like Adidas and Fanatics are excluded from this. Um, people might call fanatics jerseys as fake jerseys from adidas but they're they're still licensed by the nhl so technically they are real jerseys license wise but when it comes down to this where people are making jerseys on their own and they're selling them that's just one of the pet peeves of, of mine is that it's one thing to make fake jerseys but another to sell fake jerseys like so let's get into some of these fake jerseys. Now, there are two things I put on here to look out for fake jerseys. That is the color of the jersey because sometimes when they're making these fake jerseys, sometimes the color is too dark or it's too light. Uh, another another one is the position of certain key things on here, such as the logo, the nameplate, the numbers, the letters, the NHL choker itself, the, this thing here, and the strings. The... Uh, the Adidas jerseys either have strings coming out of their jerseys, kind of like we see with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Another one is that it's all like tied in together, kind of like what you, uh, kind of like what you see here. Now we're gonna go back to the image anyway. But what do you see that's wrong with this jersey? I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a chance to see if there's anything wrong with this. Okay, time's up. The the nameplate I feel like is off. Either it's off with this or it's off with the numbers. Um, I see this uh, usually like okay. I'm gonna look. At, I'm guessing that this is like the center point 
of where everything should be. Um, either that or where the, the fighting strap would be, which I'm guessing this is where these wrinkles are here. Um, it, it's not completely centered with the numbers. Um, I'm not really sure if the nameplate is centered with this. I, I always look at this as always to be in the center point in the back of the jersey. Um, so this can actually be questionable. Obviously, he probably took Photoshop and um, blocked out the NHL logo here. Blocked out Adidas here, trying to avoid copyright. Um, the strings are also kind of weird looking. They're quite loose. If you guys have seen Adidas jerseys, the strings on the on the bottom of the choker of the NHL logo there, it is. Um, they're actually quite and quite tight for their. I won't say they're tight on you. It just they look, they look tight. It's like they're not going to be coming loose anytime soon. That's just my my guess. And another thing to actually look out for with these uh, jerseys that are fake is that um, some of these uh, jersey makers would actually not put the glossy NHL logo, which you see onto the uh, Adidas jerseys, uh, except uh, they would just put the uh, the stitched logo on the choker and call it good, which I don't really call it good. I just think it's poor. Um, so that is the white jersey. He actually has a, a home jersey, and it's kind of the, the same story. Uh, blocked out the NHL logo here, went to Photoshop or something. Didn't mind putting the stitching of the Adidas logo on the back. Um, the nameplate on the like the stitching is actually it's like slanted. It's like it's almost, it's almost had a stroke or something. Um, but uh, the strings here, obviously, they're like really thin. The, the strings on the Adidas jerseys are actually more square, and I'm not really sure if these are like just like little little strings that you buy at the store for like 50 cents or not even whatever. Um, so that's that. The the striping on the bottom. I actually own this jersey. I have a uh, I have an Eric Stahl Wild jersey. the The bottom stri stripe here is actually thinner th than this, so that's another key aspect of looking at that um that's it for that jersey and one red flag is that he actually uses these photos that i mentioned early in the video that you could just easily just copy the images and place them in your ebay uh sell thing for your slideshow so next is the uh that's, that's been the one of the fakes and there's another one um so we're looking at this, and this is probably one of the worst fake jerseys out there. Um, one thing is, uh, is the strings. Obviously, they're they're looser. The choker looks like it's been uh, it's been pulled on a lot, and uh, the the stitching here seems to be like a little bit off. And since I'm a Minnesota Wild fan, I actually spot this really quickly. Is that the, the letters for the alternate captains, or the captain in this case, Miko Koivu, the Wild do not have captain letters as matching with their numbers, that being red and green outline. I'll go back to the Koivu picture here. As you guys can see, it's all green. It does not match with the numbers at all. So obviously this is fake. It's fake as hell. So uh, the strings are whack. The font I'm the font is really weird on this the font and the color for the captain letters is really off <laughs> to say the least uh the stitching for the shoulder patches are actually bad um the actual patches for the away jerseys for the Minnesota Wild don't have this stitching going throughout the word so I'm guessing he took a stitching machine and it went through all of these all in one go. So he didn't go M-I-N-N. -N. He just went out through the entire word. That's what I'm guessing. I don't have a stitching machine. I don't have a stitch. So that's what I'm just going by that. So uh, I'm not really sure if this person... Uh, oh, I'm, I'm guessing he's trying to hide the Adidas thing on there. The one thing is that these people are just really just hiding their thing. They have the button down there. I'm not sure if that's like a real button or anything. But that's uh, that has been that. And if, I'm going to give you guys a little a little treat here. So if you guys don't have any, like, 
don't have that much money to spend these. I understand there's people out there, but there is one company out there that now I've watched the hockey guy and he also goes over some fake uh, jerseys that he has for to showcase. Uh, I actually respect him a lot. Uh, he goes out and buys the he either he does. I don't think he would buy a fake jersey. He just gets them as a donation, I suppose. Uh, he gets a fake jersey. He gets it. And he takes the real one that he owns and he just makes a video of, you know, these are fake and these are not and here's why. So with Full Moon, full moon jerseys, I've bought so far two jerseys from them so far. The last one I bought was the alternate jersey for the Boston Bruins 2016-2017. Uh, it's the one with the, the Bruins uh, yellow logo. It had a bear on it and it had the yellow or gold and white stripes on the sleeves and nothing else. It was a plain jersey. I liked it. I bought it for about $60, $64. So immediately, way less than what you can get on all the other websites. Uh, Full Moon Jersey does not only do NHL. He goes throughout the entire league, such as the MLB, the MLH, MLS, the NBA, NCAA, NFL, and obviously the NHL. And he has some other, uh, another another option, I guess, for anything that is not in within these. He has them, and he is giving you guaranteed, real, authentic, made jerseys from either Adidas or Reebok, or some cases CCM and Coho, is if he has them. Uh, obviously, you guys can see that he has some of the older jerseys you might see here, some of the iconic ones, some of the ugly ones, such as this uh, Buffalo Sabres uh, yellow, uh, the cape jersey, I guess the people in Buffalo call them, call, we'll call this jersey design, as the cape. Um, yeah, that's one of the ugly ones. But uh, this has been a video for pretty much giving you a guide uh, about these uh, jerseys you might find on eBay if you guys are one of those folks. Uh, I have another jersey coming from Full Moon Jerseys that is coming uh, next Monday on the uh, on the 18th. And that is uh, going to be the New York Islanders uh, Navy jersey. That's that. So I've, I hope you guys got some helpful info in this jer um, jersey video or showcase of the jerseys that are overpriced or fake or whatnot. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash the like button. If you guys have not done so already, subscribe to the channel. More videos will be coming out soon. And I'll see you guys in the next video over on Make. Stay awesome. Take care out there.